All right, this is another video where I just try and get more Omni stuff out of my head. And so today I want to talk about roots, a little bit more about roots and the idea that the roots that we have are essentially related to worldviews. Everything, everyone has a worldview, whether we're aware of it or not. And these worldviews have foundations. And once we're aware of what the foundations of these worldviews are, then we are better equipped to not only understand ourselves and our place in the world, but also to understand other people, other systems, etc. So, you know, what's an example of a root in this sense, uh, the foundation of a worldview? Well, you could have the view that the world is an orderly place, or you could have the view that the world is unstructured. And if this is a foundational view that you carry with you, that changes how you move through the world. If the world is orderly, then you might look to certain places for knowledge or structures that already exist so that you can use them. But if you think that the world is unstructured, then you might take random actions to try and solve your problems because there's no structure there for you to take advantage of and leverage, right? So the difference between these worldviews changes how you fundamentally engage with the world and ultimately what you even believe, right? So that's an example at the personal level. What happens when you get to maybe the organizational level, right? You start thinking about, for instance, the way different companies might behave based on the root beliefs that they carry with them, right? So in the USA, the idea is that the market is the key, right? If you let the market do whatever it's supposed to do, then good things will happen. That's the US view. Other cultures might have a more consensus-based view. If we find consensus, then the outcomes we want will happen. You'll find this in like Polish culture, right? And then finally, you might say something like family. This, this, this notion of a family bond is the thing that keeps us all together. This is something you might find in Chinese culture, right? And the roots that these organizations and these cultures carry with them determine the way they behave and the values and the practices that manifest and that are valued in practice and why, why they're valued and practiced. Now, what about knowledge itself, right? What are some roots of knowledge? Well. You could think of this in a couple of ways. You could think of this in a specific way, like uh, what is the root of a very specific subject, right? Um, or you could think of it in a slightly abstract way. So let's think of it like this. You could engage with knowledge emotionally, right? And so whatever you feel to be right is the truth, right? You could engage with knowledge from this experiential stance of if I experience it and learn from it, that's what's true, right? And if you think that that sort of thing is the way you want to uh, understand the world, if that's how you interact with the world, then maybe if there's a book or a video or something, since that's not, since you're saying you have to experience it, then even if this knowledge is presented to you in this form, it's not the form that you value because that's the form that you value you wouldn't use it, right? So understanding the roots of who we are, how we engage with the world, how our cultures are, our organizations, all of this helps us to be more explicit about what it is that we actually believe and why. That's all I have to say about that.